Previously on Mindful. It's the same as any other feeling. Why do we feel so uncomfortable talking about these ones? Compare mindfulness to exercise, mm -hmm. sort of like gym for the mind. But how do I actually know what works? It's weird to know that so many people know these personal things about me and I know nothing about them, but I guess that's just part of social media. But it is a bit anxiety provoking to put yourself out there and to say that I don't care what people think of me is a lie. So it would be nice to get maybe just a few last words of wisdom from, from Bridie and uh, you know, before we wrap up this series so that I feel confident to keep going and I feel confident to just be myself. When you were in Melbourne, you spent some time with your family and th then you talked and met about the apps. And so it sounds like you've learned a lot from um, the last couple of weeks. So what's next? What's next? Well, <laughs> I was thinking about integrating a lot of the wellness focused content that I was posting up on the newest channel into Study With Jess. And in doing so, I want to also just feel more comfortable being more vulnerable. It's so important that I show them more aspects of my life and I don't just show them where I'm at now, but also how I got there. Yeah, and like we said, that can be a really scary process, but yeah. it sounds like you're surrounded by really supportive followers and really supportive family and friends, so you're in a great position to be able to do that. Yeah. For the first couple of years while starting, you know, my channel and my stationery line and, you know, going down this new career pathway, uh, it was quite isolating because I didn't know anyone doing anything mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. And to reach out, I was quite intimidated because I would compare myself to others and think, oh, I'm too new at this or my channel's too small. Yeah. And it's just, it's nice to be able to connect with other people and feel that support along the way. Because I feel this is so important and I know and I can see from reaching out to you and you know, different app developers and people in this space of wellness, that it does need to be covered. Mm -hmm. And I want to take on a more preventative approach. Mm -hmm. So I just really hope that's well received. Yeah, well, I look forward to seeing all of the new content and, you know, we can always touch base and talk about things around the messaging around mental health. Mm -hmm. and thank you so much. Uh, thank you. There are a few things I want to do before I start launching this new content on my channel. What I really want now is to build a community of influencers. I want to know how they deal with things like vulnerability and even just how they open up about mental health on their channels. When you are in the public eye, we almost have like a sense of responsibility Big to, time. to be yeah. like authentic. You know, life isn't about being hashtag grateful all the time, right? I mean, we get yeah. a lot of that. It's all about flipping it and making it positive, actually going through it and not trying to avoid it. It's so important that we understand, you know, what can we actually do to help ourselves. If everyone was more open about the little doubts that they have and insecurities, then mm. it's a lot less isolating. Yes. If we can all be a little bit more open and honest about the reality of our lives, yes. then we're able to connect a little bit better. And I do really want to, you know, not just connect online with my viewers, but connect with other influencers mm. and so I'm organising a little dinner party nice. um, but I don't want it to just stay online so I want this to be a way for us to really get to know one another and talk about the real stuff. How do you suggest, like what are your tips for doing something like that? If you want people to open up, well you've got to open up first, yeah. then it really kind of gives that permission for people to open up too sit next to each other and maybe have a conversation card there which allows people to you know have a chat straight away just thinking about really simple things like lighting and you know you go to some places and some bars and you think everyone looks hot this is amazing <laughs> they look amazing yeah. you know I think if you think about the senses you're you're pretty set for having you know really deep awesome connections with mm. these with these people and building community
I just wanted to maybe share a little bit about what I've been doing lately and why you guys are here. So I've been filming for the last month. I've been looking at e-mental health and also the impact of being an influencer. I actually have a few cards here. These are like little conversation starters. In what ways do you compare yourself to other influencers, content creators or entrepreneurs? I don't know if it's just me, but I compare myself physically to everyone on the platform. You, even yourself, like beautiful skin, beautiful everything, beautiful hair. I'm like, oh God, this is what I'm up against. <laughs> and it just feels very unhealthy. I think the other thing we also forget is that comparison is like completely normal thing for humans to do. Like all of us are naturally trying to find our place in society. How important is it to express your true self in your work? You look at films, TV, etc. Even though characters are flawed, the people playing them are often perfect. And YouTube, because it's so open, people can, yeah. and authenticity just rises. And mm. I, I find that incredible. One of the first things that I really went really vulnerable was when I miscarried like three years ago. Oh, wow. The more I kept it to myself, the harder it was to deal with. Did you find that like a really healing experience for yourself as well as like obviously empowering other people too? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it was one of the main reasons why I was able to really overcome it as well. I got so many messages congratulating me on, on, on being strong enough to put it out there. How important is it to bring the topic of mental well-being into your content or business and why? I feel like even if content creators don't have mental health as part of their core content. It doesn't mean that themselves as a brand can't still deal with it. I do think that it's just important to be really real in what we do, to be authentic. I didn't really know how tonight was gonna to go having, you know, people that had never met each other before. And like I said, my intention was really just to create this offline community as well. And although it's daunting, it makes it so much easier when you can talk to like-minded people like yourselves. So I just want to say thank you so much for coming to this beautiful dinner and you know you all bring such an amazing energy. Cheers. Cheers guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for a lovely dinner. Thanks for having us. It's so interesting to think only a little while ago I was reluctant to watch other YouTubers or you know, scroll through social media looking at other people's posts because you can very easily fall into the problem of comparing yourself to others. Maybe I did isolate myself from the online community a little bit as well, but it's also a little bit like everyone for themselves. We're all trying to make it in our careers, we're all trying to do something, but all of a sudden I feel like I'm so much more focused on where I'm heading and I've got more of a clear direction in front of me. And if I can just stick to my values, then I'm much less likely to start comparing myself to other people or looking at the numbers because there's a, a bigger purpose at play. Thank you.